In a sea that humans have sailed for thousands of years, explorers from the digital age have gone in search of their ancestors. They have found shipwrecks from every era, but a mile and a half below the surface, deeper than the divers could go, a remote-controlled submarine lit up an ancient treasure, and its laser technology was used to produce a model of the wreck on the surface. It's a Greek ship which is essentially it's complete. So there's the hull. These are the rowing benches where the oarsmen would have sat. It was also a sail vessel, so there's the mast is still in place. And what gave the game away as to its actual cultural identity, if you like, is this rudder here, the quarter rudder with a tiller still in place. The ship was so perfectly preserved because there is no oxygen in the water in the depths of the Black Sea and the environment can't sustain the organisms which would normally have destroyed the wood within a few years. So the wreck provides some clues as to how an ancient civilization worked. Archaeologists believe the ship began its journey in Greece and had crossed through the Bosporus Strait, loaded with goods to trade around the edge of the Black Sea. The vessel may well have sunk in bad weather, some 50 miles off the coast of what is now Bulgaria, where it has remained undisturbed for nearly two and a half thousand years. The find also lends some reality to Greek myth. This vase in the British Museum depicts an episode in the Odyssey when the hero tied himself to the mast to resist the siren's calls on a ship exactly like the one at the bottom of the Black Sea. It looks so similar, but no one knew that the person who'd made that in you know, 400, 450 BC, with, that they'd actually seen the ship. You didn't know how accurate it was. So now we have this really clear idea of what the ships actually looked like, that they were traversing those, those waters. I really want you to tell me that this was the ship that Odysseus sailed. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't find Odysseus strapped to the mast. The Black Sea Survey has identified around 60 wrecks and they include Roman and Ottoman ships. This vast underwater museum may have many more glimpses to give of worlds lost long ago. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.